Hey you guys, so wanted to come on here really quickly. Um, first and foremost, I just got back from a viewing. Um, young man who is like the family is like my family. Um, friends of the family for so many years. He lost his life to drowning. And it was just just a horrible situation. My heart really hurts for the family. So pray for the Houston family um, when you're praying. We just never know how life may turn. And people always say, expect the unexpected. But sometimes the unexpected really can um, make or break us. And I understand that, you know, sometimes when we have God in our lives, you know, um, he gives us the strength and, and encouragement and the support and the healing and the comfort and the peace and all that other stuff that we may need. But at the same time, when life hits us in such a way that is unexpected to lose your child, I think that's the most horrific thing anybody can ever go through. I've never lost a child, but I pray to God that I never have to experience that and I know that death is inevitable um, it's a part of life and you know they say when we're born we we're daily dying so what can you tell someone um, sometimes we don't have anything to say but we try to be there as a support to, to help them through the process of it all so anyways that's what I did on today um, and now I'm heading back home in a few minutes. I had to head to another town really quick to get some get some stuff. Uh, but I want to say about my braces. Let's go into that. Haven't really been on here too much, but um, I try to be on here as often as I can. That's my daughter in the background. They just say hi. Hi. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? That's my daughter. I can't sing, so don't even ask me to sing. But anyways, um, with the braces, I still have the um, expander in my mouth um, plus I still say you know consider it if your doctor is telling you to get it done or you know whatever weigh the odds the pros and the cons um, I will tell you this much that um um I mean, I'll probably see the benefit of it later, but I will always be honest with you and I'll tell you my own personal experience. Of course, the speech problem is still there. Second of all, I still wake up at night, I mean, in the morning from the nighttime with an indentation so deep in my tongue it almost looked like it's raw, like it's actually cut into my tongue that's how bad it is once I get past that the indentation is barely visible but you can still you know see it there the flip side of it is that my tongue doesn't hurt as bad as it did before um, but whatever you do at night your tongue when it's resting your mouth whether it's grinding whether you got that death grip or whatever the case may be you'll see even sometimes I notice when um, I'm in pain or something like that or if I'm doing something 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 whatever it is I notice that I clench down and when I release, I realize that's what I did at that time. And um, it hurts. It hurts. So 
with food. Oh, yes. Another thing <clears throat> with food. I am able to eat much better. I know how to somewhat control my tongue and the food. Every now and then I do get food stuck in the um, expander and I have to like, you know, like that. But much better eating. I actually ate a burger with no problem. I took little bitty bites and I ate on this side. I can only eat on my right side. The left side, I can't eat on my left side just yet. When I bite down, I bite down on part of the expander and the bracket. So we'll see how the weeks progress if I can really eat. Hopefully Friday, I'm gonna head to Vegas and I wanna try out a steak or a prime rib dinner. I don't know, we'll see. But definitely eating has gotten a little bit better. I am eating only on my right side. The brick, the expander that I have is not the one that you adjust. It's the one that is unadjustable. And I, I guess, you know, when I go in for my tightening or whatever, then they'll probably tighten up the bracket or stretch it even further. I don't know what the heck they're going to do, to be honest with you. So it's nothing that I have to do to maintain it. I've seen some videos where at night they got to tighten it screw it or something i don't have to do any of that it's in there it's done done, done deal um another thing with my bra uh, expander is that sometimes some of the pieces of the expander my tongue might get stuck on there and it gets caught um another thing i got food up here and that's my next point is that the expander is kind of like a messed up M, and on the end, it's like double wire metal, and it's close together, and I think that's probably where my tongue sometimes gets stuck at. And then, because it's so thin and it's so close together, food gets stuck in the groove so I been and had like long like pieces of crab legs I was eating crab legs and I was eating lobster really good pieces of lobster crab legs stuck in that thing and I have to get tweezers go in there and pull it out I don't know if you can see that but I was just pulling messing with the food It gets stuck up in here. I got food up in my mouth. So anyways, that's what I have to deal with. And when you have, yeah, I can't, I, I hate that feeling. When you have to deal with this, you have to, I keep tweezers, same tweezers I plug my eyebrows with. It's my stuff anyway, I do whatever the heck I want to. I get the same tweezer to go in there, wash it off, and put it back up. So when I have my eyebrows need to be plugged, that's what I use. Anyways, other than that, I'm a little bit better, and I'm still saying, consider, weigh the options, pros and cons, you don't have to if you don't want to, or if they tell you, yeah, go for it. The only thing really, 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 really that I still can't stand about this is the speech. I'm always talking. I'm always on the phone. At work, I'm always interacting with the public. I'm an apartment manager. Go figure. People are always calling. I'm always dealing with vendors. I'm a travel agent on top of that, so I'm dealing with that. I'm thinking about becoming an Uber or a Lyft driver. How about that? And you still got to talk. So, anyways, 
I just wanted to come on here and give you guys this brief update. I'm at 10 minutes and one second. My daughter back there is making faces, and I'm about to be out, okay? Oh, and then I get, like, sores on my tongue, too, along the edges of my tongue. Yeah. All right. Love you guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. It might help somebody else. Who knows? You got little kids, got grown adults, whoever it is that might be getting braces and all this other stuff, uh, have them follow my journey. Okay? All right. Peace out. Deuces. Love you guys. God bless.